The destruction of the um, volcanic dome of the Shivelish volcano has created a new crater inside the volcano. Uh, the volcano is around more than 3,000 uh, meters high and uh, the volcanic dome was around one third of it. So practically 1,000 meters of the dome uh, was uh, created in previous uh, years and now the height of that has been reduced. My estimate shows that by the 100,008 100, kilometers square kilometers of the ash uh, to the depth of 10 centimeter, if we assume, around 10 cubic kilometer of the uh, ash was erupted from this uh, volcano and dispersed into the surrounding areas. Uh, these are the, my analysis of the situation when it was as you can see in this image a new crater is formed and have marked it this uh, volcanic dome was shattered in my previous videos you can uh, watch this and my analysis of that was at that time that the volcanic dome is gone and now we have the latest images from the Shivelish volcano from my colleagues in the uh, um, Russian uh, Academy of Science and when I draw the lines that uh, I can see in a moment of the clarity, I can see that the dome is actually reduced in height. Uh, if you follow the slope, probably around uh, half of it is gone. It happened in 2011 and uh, later also in the later years, 2015 and uh, afterwards. As you can see, we already had one caldera or crater. Now we had another one and this will be the third one created around this volcano. I have a video about the uh, Shivelish volcanic dome. You can watch it, the spines and such things. Volcanic spine or needle of the Shivelish volcano. Shivelish volcano is a very fascinating volcano located in the Kamchatka Peninsula of the Russian Far East on the Pacific uh, Rim of Fire in the northern part of it. It's uh, usually erupting in a, uh, you know, with a lot of pyroclastic surges. When you look closer, you can actually see there are some lava also falling down from the slopes of this big volcano. And in the night, they look beautiful, I must say. One day I noticed that there is a, something is strange. We call it volcanic spine. I couldn't imagine that this one has that. It looks like a back of the whale from this angle. When we go to other side and look at it from the correct angle on that side, it looks extremely smooth. These volcanic spines form in these volcanoes which are acidic, very viscous, very thick lava. They, they form by actually, and as you can see, they easily get destroyed because they're, they're not very dense. They're hot in the first point, then they get uh, dismantled gradually. What is interesting is the development of them. They are formed by the cold lava uh, forming inside the vent of the uh, crater of the volcano where the volcanic dome is formed. And then they get ejected, pushed by the gas pressure vertically upward from the volcanic vent, from the conduit of the lava. Lava cannot come out, so it puts a lot of pressure. It has a lot of gas that's the result of bubbles, and that is the way this uh, kind of a smooth, beautiful uh, a smoothness is because of the friction, extreme friction pushed by the pressure, creates these smooth th surfaces. First time we saw it in the Martinique, when the Mont Pele was actually erupted. It was a shock to the volcanologists to see. It was for many years on the textbooks of volcanology, fascinating all kind of, you know, students who were studying this. Now we know that they are quite common in the acidic lavas, where the, uh, where the lava gets really thick and viscous. Shivelich is one of them.